Tom Orr's 42nd season in the Yak Valley has been one of the sparsest in memory. Well, we're fixing to go and do some beaver trap. Now, with temperatures on the rise, he's making a push to finish strong and take advantage of every opportunity. I got a call from this fella that lives up on the border there, and he, he's got a beaver problem. Beaver are beneficial to the ecosystem, but if the population gets out of control, they wreak havoc by damming up streams and destroying trees. Fortunately for Tom, his reputation for trapping beaver is unrivaled. I have no idea what I'm getting into. I don't know if the water's deep. I don't know. It may still be frozen or solid. So I've just got to go up there and look it over. Understanding ice conditions is key for trapping beaver in winter because it's a lot more work to chop through a frozen pond than it is to set traps in open water. There's a good possibility I can't even trap it yet. Those are the chances you take. The area is so remote that roads only take Tom so far. I'm looking for the North Fork of the Yak River. To reach the beaver ponds, he has to go the rest of the way on foot. The river's got to be just over here somewhere. So we got to be close. <sighs> All right. The river. I see the river. Damn. I see the river in this song. There's water running over it. Uh, looks dangerous as hell. All right, here we go. If he's to make it to the beaver ponds on the other side. This is the worst time to trust the ice. Walk easy on it. Well, we got to cross the river. All right, let's go see if we can find them ponds. They must be up on that flat up there. While navigating the thaw is dangerous, the conditions could be just what Tom needs to bring home some valuable pelts. All right, there's the pond. This is beaver habitat right here. Look at it. If that ain't beaver habitat, what is? If you can't catch a beaver here, you can't catch a beaver, I think. <laughs> Hoping for an area ripe with targets, Tom's brought a variety of traps. All right, this is the trickery of the whole deer right here, boys. And this is what the beavers do. They come up on the bank, they'll grab a bunch of grass and mud off the bottom, they'll put it up here on the edge like this, and then they'll climb up on top of it, and they'll excrete this beaver caster onto it. Well, this beaver caster that I'm using here is from a, a different place. So now the beavers that live here, they'll come swimming along and they'll smell that. They got hell of a noses on them. He'll come here to check out this new guy in town. Piss him off, he'll be mad. He'll come to investigate it and I bet you we'll have a beaver here. You can see the beaver dam here. Right in the middle of it is what they call the crossover. That's where the beavers cross the dam if they're gonna go down below the dam. And it's usually a pretty good place to put one. This is what they call a, a dive stick. The object of it is, is the beaver will dive underneath these sticks, which will put him right into the trap. And the trap will clamp on him like that and kill him. That's the object of the 330 Conibear, it's called. 
safety off. All right, it's ready to fire now. I got a bunch of traps out today, and it's a long ways back to the house now. Tom's laid out every trap in his arsenal, hoping to catch the mother load of beaver on this remote stretch of the Yak River. You do me good. Now he's retracing his steps back to the truck. Oh, look at that, huh? We got a beaver, boys. Looks like a nice one, too. Hell, we just set that trap four hours ago. I don't think this has ever happened to me where I set a beaver trap in the morning and come back in the evening of the same day and have a beaver. It's unusual to get a bite in so little time, especially when trapping nocturnal animals that aren't as active during the day. Had luck on my side. <laughs> we might as well set this trap again. The early catch is an unexpected bonus and a chance to double his luck in the same spot. Come here, bud. Success already? That's a pretty good deal. I get to drag one beaver home with me tonight. I'll be looking forward to coming back and checking my traps in the morning. It's always exciting to wonder what's gonna happen the next day. Might be a big beaver day, boys. Ooh, we got one, boys. Success, we got a beaver. This is where I caught the one yesterday. Ooh, he's a big one. Oh. Nice head catch. That was that submerged trap with the dive stick, so he had to dive down and swim through it. That's close to 50 pounder. He's a big one. This is getting about as big as they come. All right, we got more traps to check. We got a trap in here. Ha, they got a beaver. With three beavers snared in the same place, it looks like Tom's found the hot spot he was hoping for. They don't look as big as the last one, but yet we're catching beavers here. Tom's now sitting on $1,500 worth of fur and counting. This is the end of the line right here. Hallelujah. We caught some beavers. There's two beavers. Now I've caught four beaver today and one yesterday afternoon, so I've got five beaver. That's as many beaver as what I've ever caught in one day, I think. Tom has not only put an end to the landowner's nuisance problem, he scored a late winter bonus just when he needed it most. All right, that's success. Things are looking up for Tom Moore. <laughs>